My little albino alligator is starting to get so huge. Oh my God, he loves it. <laughs> you guys. Get her. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. What an absolutely gorgeous day here. We are actually en route about two hours away from BHB and the Reptarium. For those of you that watched the vlog yesterday, you know I was in Chicago with David Jobrick and the gang. So what do you say we just get this last two hours, to be honest, and have an amazing day together? And we made it back to BHB and the Reptarium. And look at this absolutely gorgeous snake. Of course, this is a D'Albers python or white lip python. I absolutely love this animal. I mean, holy cow. And I've mentioned before, for those of you guys that have been updated by this guy, that it's really rare to have him this docile. So the fact that people can come in and actually handle this dude is absolutely incredible. But ironically enough, this is a male white lip or D'Albers python. It doesn't have a name yet. So let me know in the comments comment what you think this beautiful little monkey here should be named. I had mentioned the other day that I was going to weigh salt and pepper the albino and black alligators. I mean look at salt. She is getting so absolutely big and chunky. I am so excited about her growth and just how good she was. Remember when I first got her? I tell you what, I had probably three or four sleepless nights just worrying about this little monkey right here. So what do you say we go ahead and see if she's grown? About a week and a half ago we weighed her. She was 74 grams. So let's go ahead and see what she she is now. There you go, little buddy. Look at, she is 87 grams. <laughs> All right, so she actually gained 13 grams in just the last week and a half or so. Oh, oh look at how cute it is. Oh my God, she is so cute. My little albino alligator is starting to get so huge. And I tell you what, Pepper is a chunky little monkey. Take a look at this little dude right here. It was 135 grams. I know this one put on at least 20 grams or so. I mean, look at how chunky it is. I almost feel like I have to start cutting him back of food, but the truth is he looks really, really good and really healthy. Let's see where he weighs in. 165 grams. Oh my gosh. That's right. I knew Pepper had grown a lot. This little chunky dude grew 30 grams. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine him when he's eight or 10 foot long? How insane that thing is going to look. He doesn't have the best disposition. We're continuing to work with him, but he is definitely a cheeky little monkey. Nothing like Salt, who is an absolute sweetheart. Hey guys, what's going on? What, what are you? You're leaving already, Noah? What are yeah. you, part time? Uh, Yeah, actually, I am part time. Oh gosh, that's, you that's should know that <laughs> <laughs> so listen guys I do a ton of tours you guys know that and you know I try to film them but I don't want to get people bored so tomorrow we have two tours and I was thinking maybe the one at 1 30 you guys could do together what do you guys think dude I, I think mean, that'd be great I think we make a great team I'll yeah. get up there a lot of energy a lot of focus yeah I mean uh anything will work with enough commission you know wait wait no I'm not paying extra you guys are just doing it out of the kindness I'll of your it. heart oh, I'll do it I'll kindness? clock out and do it. oh okay right, see, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. okay, so what is going to be special about your tour other than mine? Because, you know, mine is full of happiness and yeah, positivity I got and it. love of animals. Yeah, yeah, I got it. The different thing about our tour is that sometimes love. the animal, <laughs> that too, sometimes the animals actually get out and uh, you have to chase them yourself. What? So, that's the fun of the game. That's the fun part. Yeah, that, it's almost like these animals here. Good yeah, job, Eric. These yeah, are all. Those, those are these are supposed to be closed. These are all let out. Yeah, those are Listen, all out. you know every no, free range okay. chicken egg? These are free range snakes. Oh, That's what my I'm gosh. Believing. All right, guys, let me know in the comments if you want to see these guys give a tour tomorrow at 1.30. Apparently, people will be chasing stuff around. If you guys like it, uh, comment down below. I will uh, film it and we'll see. What, I mean, what could, possibly, what could possibly go wrong with these two guys, right? Give my girl a banana. Belly, come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Get your banana. Get your banana. Yum, yum, yum. Banana monster, banana monster. <laughs> there you go, girl. Oh. Yeah. Such a lot of banana. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you guys are getting sick of me feeding her bananas, but it doesn't get old for me ever. I love it to death. You're so cute, Bella. I'm gonna see if the skink wants one. Never fed him banana before. I don't know if you like it or not. Oh my God, he loves it. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. One more? Oh my God, <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing ever. 
There you go, little buddy. Eat all you want. Wow. Eats more than Bella. It's excited. <laughs> that is cool. Tortoise's diet really consists of more fibrous things like different types of greens, of course the hay and grasses and stuff like that. But every now and then you can give him treats like bananas. So because I have some bananas, I'm gonna see if Speedy wants one. You want one? I don't know that he's ever eaten one in his entire life, to be honest with you. He's had berries before. Wanna right, give it a go? Yep, he seems to like it. Pete, you sure have a messy face. <laughs> He's loving it. And again, the big idea with this is to only do it in moderation. I mean, you know, whether it's berries, bananas, whatever kind of fruits, you don't want to give it too often to them. But once in a while, to give them a little treat is actually kind of cool. Really, it's maybe even a form of enrichment a little bit, just to give them something that tastes a little bit different and that he seems to be really excited about. Look at him. There he goes. That's a big bite for you, buddy. <laughs> Look at his face. It's so messy. Oh, that's my girl. That's my big girl. Sweetie, hi. Lori, what did you do? You got a horse. <laughs> yes, I did. It's been a while since I've updated you guys on this little monkey right here. This is actually the albino Darwin's carpet python. Oh my gosh. It's starting to get pretty big and it is absolutely stunning. I mean, that is a snake that I dreamt about when I was younger. I've been working with carpet pythons since I was like 16 years old. And I remember when I saw the first albino carpet python picture, I was absolutely blown away. Never thinking that one day I'd be holding one and have one at the zoo. It is absolutely awesome. Earlier today, we were actually filming a few things on Noah's channel with myself, Eric, and Noah, and they tried to take out the rhino iguanas. It didn't go so well. You can check it out on Noah's channel, but we're gonna see if Lori has a little bit better luck. He seems to think she's gonna be able to tame these things, no problem. Hey, bud. Hey, hey, hey. It's all about being prepared and calm. Calm? Yeah. Okay, is that Diddy Kong or is that the other one? I don't know. I don't know the difference. Diddy Who's Kong who? has the dark mark on his tail. Who named that? That's Diddy Kong. What kind of name is that? <laughs> Diddy that? Kong. Diddy Kong. I did not vote okay. on that. Okay. Is this one the calmer? Did Wait, you know what? I can tell you right now, it's that camera. Your little puffball freaks out everything on your camera. There He's you so go. Cute. Good job. I wonder what Bella would think. I know, she'd probably try to eat it. Yeah? Is that how they go? I don't know. I've never tried, but I don't I don't know try. how they interact, the adults with the babies, or she's actually eyeballing us right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that bad. No, that's what I'm saying. He's good. Yeah, the is this supposed to be, the, this is the male? This is the boy, yeah. Okay. That's Diddy Kong. The female. All right, we're going in for the girl. Oh, oh there she goes. <laughs> Get her! Get her! Get her! Get her! Okay, okay. Shh. Calm. Holy sh! Lori! What oh. happened? She's fast. <laughs> Diddy Kong, did you that see your crazy, crazy sister? <laughs> wow, okay. You gotta work on her a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness. You're a crazy little monkey. Actually, maybe we should uh, sign her up. Like she could be a, in the race. I know. Are there like a rhino on her way, races? Cause she's real fast. <laughs> we, just gotta, <laughs> we just gotta work with her, I guess, huh? All right, I'm not gonna lie. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> well, at least Eric won't feel as bad after seeing your performance too. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Diddy Kong's pretty good, but this, this little monkey needs some work. <laughs> Here's a snake I definitely don't show off nearly enough and something that you can come to the Reptarium and actually hold. And it's probably one of the few places you're ever gonna get a chance to hold a snake like this. This is actually a 100 flower rat snake or an O3O for Smolendorfi. They're from China and they're absolutely an amazing rat snake. I just love the fact that it's like a red head goes into a green body and then towards the tail it turns red again. Just such an unusual snake. And this guy is actually pretty docile. People can come and just actually take this out and play with it. I 
don't know too many places that you can do that with a snake like this, so I absolutely love it. I'm literally going on two hours of sleep, but you know, every now and then I want to give you guys a little bit of inspirational talk. And by inspiration, what I mean is if that you really want to go after something in your life, whether it's a promotion at your job, opening up your own business, working with animals, doing whatever your dream is, I always tell you guys the same thing. Work harder than everyone else. Noah and I drove all the way out to Chicago just to collaborate with David Dobrik last night, which meant that we were only going to get two hours of sleep last night before we had to get back to the grind and do it today. But you know what? Instead of complaining about it, I just said, let's just do it. Let's have a good time, put a smile on our face, really enjoy the experience. And hey, listen, we'll get some sleep later on tonight. So whether you're studying for a test or have to go to work after a long night of taking care of your animals or whatever the case may be, the point is, is that you have to grind. You have to work harder than everyone else. That's how you succeed. And by the way, this is one of Lucy's babies that we're raising up. Isn't she looking absolutely incredible? So the only real recipe for success that I have is one, do something that you absolutely love and are passionate about, and two, work harder than everyone. Sure, I could be crying all day going, oh my God, I only got a couple hours of sleep and I had to drive 11 hours over the last 24 hours to do an hour of collabing with a YouTuber. But the fact is, is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna be in a good mood, I'm gonna smile, and I am just gonna get stuff done because that's the way you're successful. Anyways, I am sorry to digress for you guys on that type of thing, but every now and then I feel like it's need to be said. Get out there and do something. Get out there and love your life because, hey, what else are you gonna do? And with that being said, guys, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me and I truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button for Savvy the Tortoise? Turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload a video. Make a comment down below so I can read about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.